Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing the third problem on type 1 of large sample test that is test for single mean. Let us read the problem first. Can it be concluded that the average lifespan of an Indian is more than 70 years? If a random sample of 100 Indians has an average lifespan of 71.8 years with standard deviation of 7.8 years, assume 5% LOS. So let us identify the data given in the problem. Can it be concluded that the average lifespan of an Indian is more than 70 years? So this is the general claim. So this is mu equal to 70. If random sample of 100 Indians, n is equal to 100, this is our third problem, so we'll go a bit faster. n is equal to 100, obviously greater than 30, that means large sample test, has an average lifespan of 71.8 years. That means this is sample mean, so x bar is equal to 71.8 with standard deviation, that is s is equal to 7.8 years. LOS 5% mention. Now in this problem, by looking at the sample data, you can easily say that yes, the average life is more than 70 years, but yes, this data is specific to that particular sample. We need to conclude for the entire population. So we're going to solve it. So data given is mu equal to 70, x bar is equal to 71.8, n is equal to 100, and s is equal to 7.8. So let us start with the first step. Step number one is your null hypothesis that is your H0 and as we have discussed mu is equal to given and that is fixed. So mu equal to whatever is given we are going to take it as it is. So that is 70. Step number two is your alternate hypothesis H1. We know there are three options not equal to less or greater. So in the given problem it is asked more than 70 years and as we discussed more implies greater and this greater implies one tail test. So this is one tail test. LOS is 5% mentioned. So step number 3 is your LOS part which is given as 5% and one tail test and as we have discussed 5% will be removed from one side. So you will be left with 45% and after looking at the z table, you'll get to know this value is 1.64. So this is your step number third done. Let's move on to step number four, your calculation part. And for calculation, we have formula. Z is equal to x bar minus mu upon sigma by root n. And as we have already discussed, in case of large sample test, only large sample test, the sigma can be replaced by s whenever required. So in this problem, x bar is equal to 71.8, mu is equal to 70, s is equal to 7.8 root n, that is root of 100. So if you solve in calculator, you will get the value of z is equal to 2.307. You can try solving it, you will easily get. So step number 4 is also done. Let's move on to the last step that is step number 5 and that is your conclusion part. So this step is very important step and in which we have already discussed if mod z less than z alpha accept nh reject ah and if mod z greater than z alpha reject nh and accept ah in our problem this mod z that is mod of 2.307 is obviously greater than z alpha because z alpha is 1.64 so it's greater than z alpha means reject nh and accept AH. Now friends, let us understand what exactly mean by rejecting NH and accepting AH. So rejecting NH, that means you rejecting this. Accepting AH, that means you accepting it. Now tell me, what is the conclusion? You rejecting mu equal to 70. And accepting greater than 70, that means your simple conclusion is you accepting this, right? 
the average lifespan of an Indian is more than 70 years since we accepted it. Generally, what students think is we rejected an edge. That means we rejected a problem. We rejected an edge means we rejected the given problem. And in the problem it is asked, it is more than 70 years. So students think we reject an edge, we rejected the question. No, the answer is no, more, not more than 70 years. But this is not the case. You need to see this conclusion is based on NH and AH. So you rejecting NH, that means you rejecting this part and you accepting AH, that means you accepting this part, that means you accepting mu greater than 70. So that means your final conclusion should be average life span is more than 70 years. Is this clear? Till now we have discussed three problems on type 1 of large sample test. In the next video we will be discussing type 2 of large sample test. Thank you.